I've seen people online complaining about how cops don't chase after people that they see committing crimes and they don't chase after people who are speeding on the highway. There's a good reason for that. It's because high-speed chases are dangerous, and it might sound counterintuitive to not chase somebody who committed a crime, but think about the technology we have in our modern day, especially if you have a picture of the person's license plate, especially if it's not a stolen vehicle. What is the benefit in chasing them? We have helicopters, we have ways of tracking them through CCTV, and instead, in violation of their orders, six police cruisers chased a vehicle the wrong way down the 401, and it led to a baby dying. And yes, this guy was out on bail for multiple crimes. So sure, that is a conversation that we should be having, especially when it's something like this. But the way that Pierre is going about having that conversation is one of the most disgusting and vile things I've seen a politician do in recent years, and that includes all of the vile and disgusting things that Pierre has done. Like, it's really up there with gross things that Trump would say. Like, this meme pretty much sums up what Pierre is saying. Because the cops, against direct orders, continued to chase this guy even after it had been called off. But no, that's Trudeau's fault. And it's going to be years before we see a resolution to this. Like, for example, in 2020, cops in Ontario were chasing a guy who was shooting at them. And for all intents and purposes, the cops were doing their job by firing back. But unbeknownst to the police, there was a toddler in the car. And the police shot and killed the child. It took four years to get a resolution to that situation. And I'll take a page from the Toronto Police Chief's book. Maybe you were hoping for a different outcome. But ultimately, the law works the way it does, and we have rules and regulations in place for a reason. I can understand within reason why the charges were dropped against these police officers. But if there are zero consequences for this, then I will honestly be flabbergasted. Especially if the only consequences they get are a temporary demotion or suspension with pay. But if you want to stay up to date on stories like this, hit the like and follow buttons.